Well, hello, my frilly shoppers, and welcome back. This is Gina, and this is my shopping life. Now, we are back shopping today at Ikea, and we are in San Diego, so this is right off of Friars Road. We're going to go inside. It's such a beautiful day here, and the building, you cannot miss the building. Always bright blue and yellow, and they're huge, so make sure you're wearing good walking shoes when you're coming into the store. They have their spring sale going on March 13th through May 29th, so that's been going on for a while. And 5% off if you are like the IKEA family member, all you have to do is sign up. Really easy, and you get a barcode, and you can use it every time and save 5%. Now they do have elevators, but I'm going to take the stairs <laughs> and just see what great ideas we could find furniture pieces now there's the three drawer chest $230 on sale and I love all these great ideas and the like okay like the chest of drawers there are so many here at Ikea you will definitely find one that you're looking for depending on you know how much space you need and they have just so many great options. You do have to put them together. So you definitely would be mindful of that. But the nice thing about Ikea, if you don't have you know, a way to get it home, all you have to do is just go online and you could order it and have it shipped to you. But I love all the great ideas, all the organizing. And it just, it's just, I get very inspired when I come to the store especially for bedrooms, kitchens, outdoors, living rooms. There's just so much here and it's just a great store. And there's a lot of little items like this around, like the little plastic containers. Look like it's a set of three. Yeah, $1.79. So there are the large yellow bags that used to be blue, but they're the large yellow bags. You could carry them around. So when you find little things like that, if you want them, you could carry them with you. So you do start up upstairs. So you start, you go upstairs and you just kind of look at all the great furniture, a lot of room ideas. And then downstairs is going to be a lot of the smaller items. So they do have carts, like shopping carts downstairs. I mean, check out this kitchen. Always such great ideas for kitchens. I like, I like the wood countertop. Almost like a one huge continuous cutting board. And I know there's different styles for everybody, but these drawers, this is this is the dream right here. Because even in my kitchen, when I open up the, you know, I open up the doors, I cannot reach the back of, you know, I get I, there's some wasted space. And if I put any dishes or anything back there, I I totally forget about them. So one of these days when we redo our kitchen, this is exactly, well, not exactly. The drawers I definitely do want. The countertops, we're still debating on them. But I like how they give you some options. And, you know, how much it'll cost to redo your kitchen and how much everything costs. And there's, you know, financing options as well. Now this is a last chance item. This is the for the shoes. This is really nice. Look how thin it is. You could put that in the hallway and it won't take up too much space. And here's a larger one. This was 170. So you could put it, yeah, put in a lot more. Almost double, you, yeah, you could tell it's double the size. And these little great living room sets. At first I was like, what is that? I could see now it's, um, it's a projection camera. So they're going to put it right out there. And then you can just roll it up if you're not using it. I don't know if it's a TV or just from films, but very interesting. But they're giving you ideas. I know that's not going to be for everybody. Ah, uh, the old record players. We were explaining to our daughter how this, yeah, we used to use these. Nowadays, you rarely see them anymore. This is a really nice couch set. I like it, but I'm afraid that is that velvety, the cats, <laughs> cat hair everywhere. 
Now, my husband really loves this coffee table. It almost reminds me of the mid-century, but mid-century is more like 50s. This looks a little bit more of the 60s. It reminds me also of a surfboard, but he, he likes it. I think ours is square and we're always bumping it into it. And like a constant bruise on my leg. Yeah, similar to like this one. But a lot of really great ideas. Like I like how they show like how to hang up, you know, different artwork on the walls. And then you don't have to really guess too much of the price. That's gonna be right there. All the lamps. Kind of take a look. See, I love these bookcases. I like the lights on top. That is such a great idea. Let's see how much this light is. Can we reach? Oh, $25. That is not a bad price. This is a really nice light. There's so many different styles here. $100. Honestly, not a bad price. So it really depends on what your style is in your home. I mean, it's just, it could cover almost every style. This couch looks very comfortable. How much is this one? Ooh, that's $950. Okay. <laughs> Ikea used to be really inexpensive and I've noticed over the years that their prices have definitely gone up. See, I like this table. I like the option that I could put items inside of it and you could see inside of it, it's $380. See, you can pull it open. I'm gonna be, it's not opening as easy, so I definitely don't wanna break it. But I like the idea that I could just kind of decorate on the inside. I think that one is the matching, but that one you can't put anything in. And if you don't want one that you could see through, they have those as well. The dining set. But I'm looking at this. Let's see if I can find. So that's $40. I like that it's glass. And it's not huge. And oh, these are really nice bookcases. There's more of the lights. It's a nice style. This is definitely a style for me. I would love to have something like that in my home. And very interesting on the cabinets. They look like they're glass. They are acrylic. But what I get worried about is I don't want to get something very trendy and then after like a couple years it's maybe not in style or I'm tired of it. That is, that is such a huge commitment when you're wanting to redo your kitchen. I do like the backsplash though. So that's why we just have not redone our kitchen because it's just making sure that once you do it, you know, I'm going to have to live with that for another 10 years. <laughs> now I do like this case. This is actually really nice. Ooh, it was $470. Yeah. See their prices definitely have gone up. And it's just the, where would I put it? And that's my husband. Every time I say, oh, I like this. He goes, where are you going to put it? <laughs> that's a big question. See, 2023 kitchens. I'm going to grab that. So you can see here, if you're redoing your kitchen, there are so many options. This is one area of the store that is not filled with people. Like your stove tops, your cabinets, dishwashers, your sinks, your faucets. There's definitely a lot to choose from here. Oh, they even have appliances back there. I do like the farmhouse sink. Now there's a lot of construction going on. I think they're bringing in some new rooms. They're going to do some redecorating and you have to do that once in a while, you know, keep up with the styles, keep up with the times. Now we're going to go downstairs. 
and I'm not going to film going downstairs because I need to concentrate make sure I don't fall. <laughs> and the coops, these are really nice. I want to say these are supposed to be a set of four. We got these last time. We haven't used them yet. We're going to be using them for Mother's Day though. You have these beautiful wood trays. So this is downstairs, going downstairs. There are shopping carts or you could get a bag if you don't want a shopping cart. And there's a lot of items like these. A lot of little kitchenware, the drinkware. So this is very interesting. It's got a little bit of green. So it's not what's in the box because the box, here it is. I opened one up. Very similar, but different. And that almost looks like it would be a plastic. That's actually a glass stirring stick. So those are $14.99. And a lot of options for barware, for drinking, coffee cups. And this is what we saw earlier. It did not come with the bottom. And that's the challenge. It's where is the bottom? And sometimes that happens to me at Ikea. I will find one part of the item and I don't find the second part. I like this. That's actually metal. Okay, there's a different bottom. Oh, there's that one. Oh, here's another one. That was $30. And this one, that was plastic. I'm always checking the dispenser because that part, that's the one part that will tend to break on some of those. Now, this is really interesting. I do like this. I love glass pitchers. That was $28. I'm good, but that one is really interesting. Now, what is this? <laughs> You know, that actually is $15. That would actually work outside. You could just, you know, hook it on something. And if you have a drink, maybe for iced tea. And then you have these bottles. I like those because if you're making like your own syrup, you could use those to, you know, package it up. Now this one's really pretty. This one's been here for a while, $25 and they are selling out. But it's beautiful. That green is just gorgeous. Now, here's something you don't see every day. This is for a spa. My daughter was asking if that was for soup. <laughs> no. So you have like the spa robe. And I want to say it's like for a sauna that you pour like the water to add more steam. Now these baskets, look how gorgeous these are. I saw this and got really excited. It's got a liner to it. Now at first I saw one price of $20, but no, I think that is the price. $90 for that. No, <laughs> that is really expensive. It's a cool basket, just not $90 cool. Yeah, I gotta double check. Yeah, it's, it's definitely $90. And they have some clearance items. Whoop. So for outdoors, $59. For a table, there's a smaller table for $29 and then they have the chair to go with it. So they're all about $10 off. Not too bad. Well, everybody, I think we're gonna head out. The store is really warm, so I gotta get some fresh air, but thank you so much for watching. I hope your day is going great. Take care and I will talk to you soon.